Hey everyone, John Moran here with Solutions 8, and today I'm going to share with you how Google can sometimes spend its own money on your behalf and not charge you for it. <laughs> uh, so Google has a policy where if you take a daily ad spend, you multiply it by 30.4, and that 30.4 multiplication of the daily ad spend is the most Google will charge you for the campaign for that, that time period. Now, this is contingent on a couple things that you don't necessarily increase your budget or decrease your budget too much. Like if you have $10 a day, multiply that by 30.4, that's what you're gonna get charged for. But if you go from $10 up to 50 for a week and then down to 10, it's gonna charge you the average uh, of that time period. So this is something that I think not a lot of people know, is Google will sometimes overspend and you'll see that overspend in your campaign, but you won't be charged for it. And I have proof on how to show you that here. So let me dive in and I'll show you where to find this. Inside of the campaign, uh, you're gonna see that over here, this name up here and this name over here is, is blocked out because we wanna keep our client's privacy private. <laughs> um, but what's here is I'm spending $5 a day. Uh, this is a date range that I saw the most overspending. So it's a really good uh, showcase to show share with you what uh, how this works. So I'm spending $5 a day and this is back in February 18th. And you'll see that I have $156, $147, then $16 and $24, all the way through all, uh, to $280 in one day on the display network. Now, here's what's interesting is I'll prove this to you and change history. You'll see that um, the time periods that we have increased and decreased the amounts we had um, uh, $1.50 CPA, so $75 down to two, two to 15, 15 to five. This was uh, some fluctuations that we were going through when making changes to decounts. So we said, hey, let's just pull back and, and hang tight for a minute. But again, you'll see that with the most recent budget change down to $5 on the 23rd, uh, four days later, we spent 280 bucks. Well, here's what's interesting. When you look at this area here, again, there's gonna be some things blurred out here of a brand name, but the display, when you hover over it, it'll say in June, which is you know this month, you won't be charged more than $152 for this campaign. Now, in February, when we're running at $5 a day, that's what it said, is you're not gonna be charged more than $152 for this campaign. Well, we're charged what looks like 989. Well, that's what it cost, but that's not what was charged. I'll share, share with you how this looks. Go into the settings and billing and go into the transactions tab here. And what you'll notice is that, again, the name is gonna be brought out here. This is just the brand name. But if I go back to a custom range and I go from February to April and apply, we'll scroll down to on February, uh, let's see, go right here, there we go. February 1st to the 28th, display audience, 693 clicks, $428. Well, if you remember, when you click on that, you'll see that on that date range of the 27th, remember how we had $280 that day? That's the served cost. The served cost was $280. The build cost, $8.33. On the display again, network again, $103. What were we build? 10. On the 22nd, we spent, or the display cost was 161. What were we build? 30. So what this is actually saying is, remember that little tab that was down the bottom that says, hey, in this date range, you're not gonna be charged more than $158. You won't be charged more. Your account will look like it spent a whole bunch of money, but you're not actually charged for it. So whatever you set your daily ad spend to, if you see, uh-oh, this is overspending, it will look like it's overspending, but you're not actually being charged that. So if you were to spend, let's say you wanted to spend a thousand and you got 4,000 in return. So you spent a thousand dollars in ads, made $4,000 in sales. Uh, but it looks like you were actually spending $2,000. Your campaign might say, well, you're spending $2,000 even though you wanted to spend a thousand. It looks like you're spending $2,000 and you made $4,000, less than 200% ROAS. But in reality, you were billed for a thousand. So in actuality, you have 300% ROAS. This is important to see that when you start to have varying degrees of fluctuation in your daily ad spend, Google will sometimes overspend. Google can spend up to 250, up to 300% more than your daily ad spend. But what normally happens is in 30.4 day period, it actually will level out. So meaning that if you're trying to spend $100 a day, some days you'll have 100, 120, 140, 160, 140. And then the next week might be, or next few days might be like, you know, 80, 65, 89, 91. It'll, it'll even itself out. Sometimes it overspends, sometimes it underspends, but in that 30.4 day period, it will not spend over your daily budget or daily or monthly budget. If it does, 
you do not get charged for it. <laughs> so I didn't know if a lot of people knew about this, but that's just something that when you're looking at your daily budgets and you're looking at other automation tools, like, hey, if I start to go over budget, it starts to pull back on budget. No, don't, don't. If it starts to go over budget, let it. You're not going to get charged for it because then that free lead that you got or that free sale or a couple of those free sales that Google paid for that you are the beneficiary of because they bought on your website or they generated themselves as a lead in your contact form, those are free. So just be mindful about what your daily budgets are, what you're expecting to get charged, and know that you will not be charged more than that, even though Google says that it's spent more. That came out of Google's pocket. <laughs> this is John Ramos, Solutions 8. This is kind of your little quick tip for today. Uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know if there's anything else in the comments that you'd like us to do. Thanks so much. Bye.